Hamburg in Germany, the venue for the fourth race weekend of the BMW IBSF men and women's skeleton and bobsleigh World Cup. Good morning, everybody. Welcome <coughs> to the final day of sliding for this visit to Winterberg. We'll return here in a few weeks time after Christmas for a second stab at the Hoxhaland track. Martin Haven and John Morgan getting ready for the action for the women's bobsleigh competition. And John, we saw some pretty entertaining racing over the last couple of days. This track is about as quick as it's ever been. Track records in women's skeleton, model bob. Uh, so three of the four disciplines, men's skeleton snuck one in there too. Alana Myers-Taylor, she broke the track record at the start. Uh, Yesterday in Mount of Bob, of course, she went on to win the race. Up here, it's so meticulous, so quiet, pretty steep. But here, it almost lulls you to sleep in this Omega curve. The exit almost going uphill. No mistakes. We saw them yesterday up here where the speeds are slow. Then all of a sudden, this curve three, four, five. You know, again, this is accelerate a little bit, but it's really, really slow up here, almost boring. And then Kreisel exit this is where it starts to get some action curve eight nine this is a pivotal part of the track nine to ten great tv pictures we have in here no mistakes allowed curve ten this exit into this three corner combination where the sleds are almost too fast for the track you go uphill here in the finish curve and you can still make mistakes here we saw that yesterday right there at the end mark it's so easy to get down uh we did see a crash but, uh, you know, it's a very challenging track, unlike the one we were on last week. Well, it is pretty challenging, actually, and there were quite a lot of, of crashes in training, as you say, just a, a couple in the racing so far. Uh, World Cup standings led by Germany's Lara Nolte, Kim Kilicki in second place. They've both been on the podium. Uh, Christina Brun in third. She's been on the podium every race as well. So she's got a good run going this season. We have 21 sleds in our field. And so one of them won't get a second heat. And that's going to be a little bit of a worry for some of them. They're uh, above the start area. You can see beside the start area, you can see the uh, sled prep area. Runners just being checked, they're wiped over with acetone to make sure there's no coating, no, uh, nothing on them to reduce the friction. And the athletes make sure that they are polished to mirror perfection. Again, friction is your enemy here. You want the thing to run as smooth as you can. And of course, highly polished steel on highly polished ice just give you an awful lot of control. Well, here is how we start off. Anne van Uyenhuis of Belgium will be first to go. Anastasi Makarova, Angio Greco and so on. Kelly Humphreys, who is the uh, reigning world champion, she goes off sixth. Mariama Yamanka, our Olympic champion, 13th. All the way down to Brianna Walker, who was a silver medalist yesterday after leading the first heat in the monobob. And uh, she was a winner here last week as well. Race four of the BMW IBSF Women's Bobsleigh World Cup. Anne van Nienhaus and Sarah Ertz are the crew for Belgium. They're the first sled on ice. 51st at Women's Bobsleigh World Cup for Anne. As a driver, she had another five in her early career as a brake woman as well. Best result here, an eighth place finish in the racing in 2018. Well, and as we know, can drive the sled. Is this, what's the name of this sled? Is it frozen? Martin, which, which sled? Oh, this is, is Ruby. This is Ruby. Ruby. Okay. Got, yeah, got his name from the color. Close personal relationship with her sled, as you should. But uh, she could drive. Uh, her, her albatross is her start times. But uh, so when you have a suspect start time, you have to have perfect lines in this track. Oh, it's tough. You have to be so meticulous to be perfect. As we saw yesterday, yeah, going early helps. The reason she started first, she was in the not in the top ten in World Cup standings. And they look at her duck her head. Yes. They take the, the uh, women after that, the sleds after that, and they do a just a random draw. Three of them get to go in front of the World Cup leaders. Four of them, looks like. And that's why she's uh, yeah, three. in that position. <clears throat> yep, so her uh, summer and winter Olympian Sarah Ertz behind her. 
competed for Belgium in London and in Pyeongchang. Her smooth lines. This is her ninth World Cup race here in Winterberg. She knows the track very well. And uh, it is the closest to the Low Countries, colloquially known as the Dutch Alps, because there's an awful lot of Dutch and uh, Belgians come skiing here in the winter. Not much you could say, Sarah. You know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yes, let's take a look at Anastasia Makarova next with Elena Mamedova, 26-year-old brake woman, 23-year-old driver, only her seventh World Cup start, Anastasia. She did do the race here last year. She's raced here yesterday in the monobob, and she did Junior Worlds and Europa Cup here as well. So half a dozen race weekends at the track. A little fog coming in, Martin. Yeah, it's a, often a misty morning here. But that means well, the sun won't the green come out. Because of the 700 start advantage up to 10, so she continues, she could grow that. She doesn't mean she made a driving error up there, of exit over Omega. She grows it by 100. You know, she still has to be perfect down here. That 800s could, could uh, go back to red numbers quickly. Got the best speed that she is pulling away, Martin. How does she get through here? Very nice. Now the exit down here and the three-quarter combination, the labyrinth, how violent, no. Martin, clean run, not the best speed, but she will be the leader. Not too bad, leads by 1700s over Anne Van Nienhaus. So as you said, first three sleds come out of the random draw. The uh, top 15 get drawn randomly to go from fourth on down. And then below that, they'll normally she go in their World had, Cup standings. Yeah, she had 12th last week in uh, Altenburg, her best finish of the three events so far. How's she doing getting in? Looks like she's not perfect, but uh, the end result's good. The brakeman, her arms come up in a perfect technique and into a perfect aerodynamic position. Good, good technique by the brakeman there. Next up from Romania, Andrea Greco, Katarina Vick. Tenth World Cup start for the break woman. She started as a skeleton and bobsleigh athlete for Germany. And for Andrea Greco, 32nd race as a driver. This is her fifth World Cup here, driving for Romania. And Paul Niago, the coach in the background, lives, he's based here. He's got a, a physio practice in Winterberg. So this is very much home for them. Decent start, only 100 back. Good load into the by the zero curve, which is that's real challenging. And good result for Andrea last week in Altenburg, seventh. Let's see what she can do. She's got it to a dead heat now, the hundredth into a dead heat. She's got the best speed. These should be green numbers at the next clock. There they are. Only the second best speed here, though. So she's back to even. This might be too close to call, Martin. The first of many. We had a, a couple of dead heats pack. in the monobob race yesterday. A couple as well in the men's race in the first heat. Third best speed, 100. She comes well. back. That's as good as a dead heat. Came back a little bit. Back Gives her somewhere still. to go. The leader. Yeah. Gives us somewhere to go in the uh, second heat. 100 slower than Makarova at the start, 100 slower at the bottom. So she contained Makarova pretty well. Watch the explosion off the block. The driver and the brakeman, when you come off the block like that, they want to, the driver wants to hit the same way time that the brakeman is accelerating away. The hit at the same time, not, it doesn't always happen perfectly. Left side. She comes down the left side of that straightaway, Martin. That's not what you want. You want to be more in the middle. Next up, Katy Bile of Austria, our World Cup champion last year. 39th World Cup race for her. Jennifer Onasanya, her break woman, 
in her 28th World Cup start now. Bronze medalist here in last year's race. That was just January of 2021. Fog is getting a little thicker. We've seen some real fog races. Push bar, push bar, okay, comes down. She's got green numbers because she had the best start, 62. Martin, she hasn't been on top of her game so far yet, but uh, when you win the World Cup season title like she did last year, that means you have to be very consistent in every race, which she was. This year, 10th, 6th, right. and 16th, and she's only 10th in the points, so she's definitely not having the season that she did last year. 10th in points, and she drew number one in that first seat. Coach did a good yeah, job there. She is definitely yeah. Yeah. single digits, Pulling away. third best speed. Our bronze Don't medalist in January. That. What does she get here? 57-48. Track record is 56-54, so we're nearly a second shy of that. Not sure that's going to get attacked today. We'll wait and see what the second heat is. Track record dates back to the World Championships here in February 2015, John, set by Anja schneider Heinze and Annika Dracic. They were the fastest of the German sleds. Fun two weeks of the Worlds here. Mm. It was. I don't know if I've ever not had fun, except when it's raining and snowing here. Eh, not perfect there, but perfect enough to be the leader. All right, lots of pink means Lara Nolte, hometown queen here, 23-year-old from Germany, 24-year-old break woman Deborah Levy. It's Lara's third World Cup here, bronze in 2020, gold in January 21. Her 15th World Cup start. In the previous 14, she has 11 medals, including six wins. Not sure she knows what well, not Martin. finishing on the podium really feels like very often. Ooh, drift out of zero. Big start. Best velocity. Had a little drift, though, to zero. Martin, she got first in that little event over there in the Yang Cheng sliding center that started off this season. Wasn't a World Cup. She got first in Innsbruck in the first event, first in the second event, and she was second last week. So she is definitely the dominant athlete so far, and this is the halfway point of the year. And she was only 500s off the start record. She is not the fastest starter in the field. The start record might be under real threat here. Wow! This is a huge Look how far run. Look at this. up she is, Martin. Yeah. She's not going to get a track record here, but she could get maybe, maybe a decent Ooh, enough time. Well down to 13, 130 kilometers an hour at the bottom. That's 81 wow. miles an hour. That is a huge run. That's two tenths away from the track record. But what a wow. massive margin. Three quarters of a second ahead of Katy Bile. That's a lot of time. Well, John, she made That's her World Cup debut on this track back in 2020, and that was a bronze medal start to her World Cup career. She's Look at the back. left side of our pictures here. When she comes to the left side there and taps, then she's got to go in and steer yeah. hard into the into the. Did you uh, see zero curve? Did you follow Why, her head? The same the way? thing yesterday in Manaba. Yeah. Right? Yeah, very late off 13. She, she did the same thing in Monobob yesterday, but she didn't come over and hit the hit. You know, she didn't hit the wall in the Monobob. Pretty tough to when criticize. When she hit the wall at the top, of three quarters. She, she, when she hit the, the wall at the top, she leant against the sled on its right to try and stop it skidding. Amazing <laughs> reflexes. Lara Nolte leads, five sleds down. Next up, Katie Humphreys of the USA, her 15th World Cup start in US colors. Her 114th as a driver. World champion 2021, Kaylee. She was a winner here back in 2012. Sylvia Hoffman on the brakes this week. Kaylee didn't have Sylvia on there last week. No, Sylvia's Sylvia been in and out. I think she went with Cash of Love. 
uh, yeah, last week. Was now on the back of a lot of Myers, Taylor. Yeah. And yeah, and Sylvia, I think, was with Alana last week. So Katie Humphreys behind Lauren Alter at the moment. Won the race last year in Altenburg. Her favourite track. Yeah, yeah Daly was the... like tenth last week. In uh, uh, she's got a tenth place in one of the Innsbruck events. 22 to 26, probably going to stay around that 26, 28, 30. Okay, three tenths back. Ryan Scheimer looks on. Three tenths back. She was 300 to the start back. And, uh, you know, Kaylee, that was a good run, but how fast was Laura Nolta? Well, yeah, uh, that's going to look impressive, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to find out here pretty quick. We've got Christina De Bruyne coming down pretty quickly, so. Not much fault in these lines, but uh, you would expect that after the, the athlete who won both races in Altenburg last week. I think she likes that Altenburg track. Martin, in the last year World Championship, she won both events. And last weekend, she won both events. I think she likes Altenburg. She absolutely does. She says it's one of her absolute favorites. Next up, Melly Hassler of Switzerland. 11th World Cup for her, just 23 years old. Her second here, she finished 13th in January. And last year was her equal worst World Cup result, tying with Altenburg last week. 20th World Cup start for her break woman, Nadia Pasternak. Sixth, seven in Innsbruck in the first two events. 13th in Altenburg, which she was a little off the pace there. Well, she was Nadia eighth over in China. Her, Nadia made her World Cup debut here in January 2020. She was 10th behind Martina Fontenay, who comes up later from Switzerland. And in fact, Nadia has pushed for both of the Swiss drivers so far this season. Yeah, her experience, you know, she did top 10 in Innsbruck, but she get over there in Altenburg, a little bit more of a challenge for these young female drivers like Ms. Hasler is. Pretty good line there. Seventh yeah. best speed, though, of the seven sleds. Not three perfect. run at the moment. But yeah, yeah, perfect enough. Third best start, third best finish for this, uh, I think, a third year pilot. It's the third year we've seen her, I think, yeah. Martin. That's right. Was last year the first year we saw her? No, ni no ni 1920 was the first year. Hey. Third year then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Beside herself. Yeah. You know, curve nine, this sets you up for the bottom and to the middle right is where you want to be. She's pointing. In. She's right on the fine line, and down here you hope not to have to steer more than you have to. Ten into the labyrinths. She knows where to look. Yep. Third best at the moment, Melanie Hassler. Seven of our 21 sleds down. Next up, Christine De Bruyne. 32nd World Cup race for Christine. Her fifth here. Kristen Brzezinovski, the booze behind her. It's her 18th World Cup start. And Christine's best run here to fifth place in this January's race. Brinkman's a long jumper, and she's also a mechanical engineer, Martin. Too smart to be she's doing this. There are great. so many in the field, aren't there? Yeah, she's, besides being a great athlete, she... Got a little great degree. This lady here has been on the podium all of the events this season, including including the World Cup. She's got four third, third place finishes so far this season, including yeah. the event in, on the Olympic track in Beijing. And this looks like third here. She's going to eke out Kaylee Humphreys. Yeah. Going to be very close to Kaylee. How far behind? Just 600 behind her former teammate. That is very close. Yeah, I thought she was going to catch oh. her on the bottom. But Kaylee beat her by 10 hundredths at the start. Uh, 
She's one of the names that Alana Myers-Taylor yesterday pointed out as, as absolutely going to be a real challenge for the podium here. Well, she's got four straight third places going, Martin. And here in the halfway part of the race, she is third. Couple formidable opponents still left to come. How hard does she hit? Enough to bring the sled up on the back and then the uphill trek to the finish line. Talking a, a little technical chat there with the coach Todd Hayes, something that she wasn't quite happy about with the sled. Well, next up, Najesta Sergeva of Russia with Yulia Belomesnik. This is Najesta's 41st World Cup as a driver, her sixth here. Her debut on this track in World Cup was 2017, fourth place finish. And actually, that remains her best result here in Winterburn. Martin, she's another heptathlete. How many heptathletes you think are in the women's field? Just like in the men's field, there's so many decathletes. That's a lot, I think. She's, she's, she's been knocking on the door in Monobob, Martin, and you know, she's, yep. she's you know, eighth, ninth, and sixth in the three races over there on that little track that they have in Russia, or in uh, China. She is 11th, she's three tenths back, Looking around fourth, she's pretty much chalk, pretty much what she's normally positioned as. Don't see her make any mistakes, Mark. The moment. Skid there, there you go. the exit of nine. The first. Yeah, this is pretty much back, what she is does. Going to be ahead of Melanie Hassler, behind Christine De Bruyne. So in fact, she's halfway between the two. Fourth place at the moment. That should be a good top ten run. We've still yeah, got two more you know, German sleds. We've still got Alana Myers Taylor. So there's still a few who can get into the you know, top pretty six. Pretty much where she is, question. six. Yeah. Yeah. I love that shot when they get out of the uh, sled, Martin. They're breathing hard and their initial thoughts. There's a skid there, nine to 10. Just love the shot. You look in their eyes. So many of them just wear their results in their eyes, you know, and uh, a little high there though on 10. So, Majesta on the right, Yula Belomesnik on the left. Next up, Alana Myers-Taylor. Keisha Lavalana says this is one of her favorite tracks. Yesterday's Monobob race winner. World champion here in 2015 as well. Winner of the race in 2017. Keisha Love, third World Cup. Did race two in Eagles with Alana. And it was with Kaylee last week. Her first win in her second ever mono in her second ever race there. So. Wow, well, she, she got beat by Laura Nolte and Deb Levy at the start. That's unlike Alana and Kasia uh, went with Kaylee last week. Yeah, I don't know if those two had a good coordinated hit there. Because I should have been faster than this, Martin. Only 600 away from the start record, as you say. They were out, started by Lauren Alta and Deborah Levy by 100. Let's see what she can do here. She loves driving this track. She's fast, she's fluid, she's full. Tap there. Seventh, fifth, and fifth so far in three races, although she's won three of the four monobob races so far. 3,200 back. This is challenging her teammate. This is probably yeah. going to be fifth. She might fall behind Sarah Gava. Fourth, right in front of Sarah Gava. Yeah. Seven hundreds from Christine De Bruyne. The start, though, Martin, I, I bet in the second run she beats Nolte at the start. I'm surprised she was only there. Tasha Love, the UNLV sprinter. What happens here? Oh, Cash is not perfect getting in. She's still new to the sport. Her first year, Martin. A little bit of left, right. She's still going left, right in the sled, and that's right out of the drive lines. They'll probably this take a look at that video. It's only her official race. I'm sure she did a few training trips in Lake Placid while she figured out whether she liked it, but this is only Cash's third bobsled race. 
Speed in the bottom, look at that. A kilometer of speed. Laura Nolta had the afterburners on. And Laura Nolta is the leader for Germany with our first 10 sleds down from Kaylee Humphreys and Christine De Bruyne. Lana Myers Taylor in fourth. 11th starter, Kim Kalicki, the 24 year old in her second World Cup here. Fourth place last week in Altenburg, only the second time off the podium in her previous 12 World Cup race career. Second in World Cup points with second, second, fourth in three races. Martin, uh, not very good in the monobob yesterday. But uh, well, she doesn't have the start that Lauren Alter and, and the rest of them do. She's got Lenny Phoebe behind her, who raced to gold with Lauren Alter in Innsbruck in race one and silver with Kim in Innsbruck race two. Phoebe is that sports scientist. Another well-educated well yeah. brakeman. Her regular driver is Stephanie Schneider, who didn't make the World Cup because she wasn't uh, quite fit at the beginning of the season. So they're keeping her fit by putting her in the back of the other sleds. Top Last five. Off and back in action. Ducks Four. ahead of the line, 57-1-1, one, one. yeah. Hundredth behind De Bruyne and seven hundred six hundreds ahead. Well, she got beat by 1,300s by Alana Myers. And good speed in the bottom, Martin. She matched the speed of uh, Aaron Nolta. The only two sleds to get into the 130-kilometer speed. It's about 80 miles an hour. German sleds usually have good speed on German tracks. Here, a little high to how hard does she hit. Not bad. If you can get the sled to hit together, the front and back bunks, it's better. But the front bunk there, wearing the Superman shirt below. Superwoman, I guess. I guess so, yes. <laughs> Good point. Next up, Melissa Lotholz of Canada. Seventh World Cup race as a driver for her. This is her first time here as a driver in a race. She raced in the monobob yesterday. Sarah Villani, another heptathlete, pentathlete behind her. Push bar a little bit, a little late. Melissa, I love her description, 29 years old, and she lists Calgary as her hometown, but that's where her clothes are. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, Megan Henry's hometown in transit. <laughs> That's what everybody feels like. They're, they're bobsled gypsies. Live out of a suitcase. Homer's, Melissa yeah. doing pretty Homer's good here. laundromat. Yeah, good run from Melissa. Uh, and bear in mind, this is what her now seventh World Cup start as a driver. Yeah, yeah, she's new. Good kid in the block. Yeah. Doing well. A very successful break with four, Kaylee Humphreys. Yeah, started driving three seasons ago after the 2018 games and seventh at the line. Can't argue with that, that's a good run. And her career best results so far, a career which is currently in its seventh race, was fifth place in Innsbruck in January. Well, can't fault much of this. Just lost time all the way down the track, Martin. Um, well, you do that when you've, you've only been driving for a few years. Yeah. Very easy track to get down. Yeah, little mistakes like the hard getting through there. Nobody's got yeah. through there without hitting. Yeah, nobody does. And the four men are going <laughs> to, they just basically fly from the wall down there. Yep. Well, next up is our Olympic champion, Mariami Umanka, bronze medalist last year in the race in January. Alexandra Burkhardt behind her. This is her second ever bobsleigh race. Her first was two weeks ago. Germany's fastest woman. She was a 100-meter semi-finalist in Tokyo in July and is hoping to be an Olympian in the winter in February the following year. Don't think that's going to happen too many times again. You know, you talk about that summer, winter. There's only been one person ever to win a gold medal in 
summer and winter. And it was on the bobsled team. It was Eddie Egan from Belgium. He won a uh, American. He won a gold medal in Belgium in the summer games of 24. 1932, he was on the Billy Fisk gold medal bobsled team. So it's still hard to believe, Mark, there's only one guy ever that chased down that award of... When you say only, that's a long time. That, that is, yeah. That's nearly a century Ooh, ago, that record. Eight. Little hit there from yeah. Yamanka. Yeah, that's going to leave her late in 11. She's still fast, though. How does she She's get still it? really fast. Yeah. Really Don't flying here in the bottom. Her speed is... Nobody's got speed like that. Or for deficient start time, Mark. 600's back. She's in second. Humphreys is now third. Yeah. Wow. Mark, that was a loose run, too, from the Olympic champion. She was a couple different spots there. The guys in the truck, they don't let anything go unnoticed. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see a couple no taps. Here's one of them. Bang. So they caught that right away. Then the, she had to, you saw that late on the uh, take on to the curve there, a little steering. Then here, exit of nine. Watch this transition here. Does she come smooth? No, she hits the right hand wall here. You know, then she drifts. Wasn't smooth, but Mariana, that's a good run. Three silver Hasn't medals, been on the two bronze yet. medals here. Yeah, has never won on this track either. But could be her first podium of the season. Next up, Cynthia Appiah. Six World Cup start for her. Uh, 20 as a break woman. And she has eight four-man starts as a break woman. First World Cup here as a driver, though, with Dawn at Richardson Wilson behind her. John's a rugby player, 100 meter, 200 meter sprinter. She's from Edmonton. And, you know, she's so good at the start. Cynthia is in the woman's monobob where she's just becoming one of the one of the favorites in the competition because of that start time art. Yes, yeah, she is. Silver last week, bronze yesterday. So she can get down this track. There's no question about that. This is a great track here, Innsbruck. Great track for young drivers to hone their skills. Oh, watch out, high. really high there. Really high, she's late here. What, who she gets away with yeah. it. That's the Don't most steer. violent yeah. hit. <laughs> yeah, the most violent hit we've wow. seen so far. Yeah. And still, That's what happens when you got a new pilot. Yeah. Still seventh, Fourth ahead of Najesta Segeva, Melissa Lottholz, and Melanie Hassler. Now, the first three sleds out, John, are not top ten in the points, but they are the last three sleds in terms of pace at the moment. So... Look how high she gets there, there, Mark. She's on the, the track. inverted part of the curve. Then she causes yep. her to be late in these next three curves, hits the middle of the take on there in the middle, forces her way up high to watch the violence here. Bang. Ooh, that's some rock and rolling and even better here. Look at that. That's the... That's the loosest ride. Having fun in Winterberg. You got it now. <laughs> You're having fun if you don't use your helmet. Next up, 10th World Cup start for Ying Ching of China. Her first here. Uh, Wang Zhuan behind her. Only her third World Cup start. The former sprinter was with Wai Ming Ming in last week's race in Altenburg. And Ying Ching, bronze in the Junior Worlds here in February 2020. That's her only time on this track. And of course, the Chinese were forced to stay at home last year because of travel restrictions. Well, you know, I've been impressed. The uh, Chinese women have started to show us a little bit. Martin, start time's not great, but I've been impressed with their driving. Yeah, they've got such depth of talent in the coaching. When you've got the likes of Pierre Luders running the show, when you've got uh, that, that guy, Andre Langer, he was a yeah, fairly decent bobsled driver in his time. If he can pass on 1% of what he knows, then it's a huge addition to their knowledge. I like to say, between Luders and Langer, they won five of the eight gold medals between 98, 2002, 2006, and 10. That's a pretty formidable 
coaching staff. This it young is. athlete here had a top 10 finish last week at Altenburg on a very difficult oh. track, which was impressive Good here. Speed. She got a little loose. Yeah. Seventh best speed, but she's in 14th place. You're ahead of Anban Neuenhaus and behind Andrea Grecu. So right now, Anvan Neuenhaus is the tail end Charlie. On the outside, yeah. Yeah, could be on the outside looking in for heat two as she was in the monobob. Well, here, watch, you see the drive lines. Look at the runner tips. She's just coming down here a little bit. She comes down, she has to come down because she's so late. Then that causes her to late here. And then she in the middle of the curve here and she's gonna have a little contact with the wall on the left. Hard, yeah. one of the hardest hits. Airborne up into the finish curve. And Such a short corner there, 13. You're on and off in a second. I mean, it takes no time at all. Margot Bock next up with our first debutante of the day, Talia Solitude from Aix-les-Bains in Provence. Javelin thrower, shot putter, and a sprinter. 24 years old, behind her 22-year-old driver, Margot, in her 11th World Cup start now. Took silver here last week in Europa Cup, her first ever bobsleigh medal. And the great woman, John, has done one bobsleigh race before in her life. That was the one in Beijing. Wow. Well, yeah. Thanks <laughs> all our, our good friends in LaPlan. Probably pretty proud that they've got this young female athlete driving, the most successful driver out of LaPlan. Of course, Bruno Manjean, the world champion in 99, and poor man Bob, and bronze medalist at the Nagano Olympics, and poor man Bob. And their coach, Max Robert. We'll see Max here in the coach's box. His French France's greatest time in bobsledding. Ooh, hard. Yeah, this is a good drive, though, John. 16th start, and at the line, blind. 11th place. There's Max There's over Max. There. Boy, I love yeah. her ducking her head coming around that finish curve, Martin. You have to have a lot of confidence well, to duck your head at 80 miles an hour. And why? Because it's worth a hundredth of a second. Where is she ahead of Catty Vice? One hundredth of a second. One hundredth of a second. That's, you know, it can be a place. That's a good drive. I'm impressed by that. Yeah, it's just her start, you know, puts her in such a disadvantage. You know, the 16th best start. She drove it into the 11th time, though. Looks, boy, if she came off there late, got away with it. She had good speed. Her break woman in the first race they ever did, they were waiting to go, and she was waiting for the driver to give the signal. Apparently, it's the brake woman's job. She said there was quite a long wait before Margot turned around and went, are you okay? Next up, Lubov Chernik, Yulia Egoshenko for Russia. 17th of our 21 starters. Fourth World Cup here for Lubov and a 10th World Cup start in the career of Yulia Egoshenko. Yeah, she had an 11th in Innsbruck first race, which is encouraging, but dropped off to 13th in the second race. 18th last week on the big track in Altenburg. One top 10 result here, but that was back in 2018. And Yulia Egoshenko, the break woman, it's only her 10th World Cup start, but her first was in February 2016. So she was a fairly occasional World Cup appearer until this season. athlete here is another athlete started in skeleton. She is nice slipping out back. of the tail of the field. Yeah, only just ahead of Anne Van Nieuwenhuis at the though. moment. Oh, and she's tied with Anne Van Nieuwenhuis exactly to the 100th. That means, should mean 21, we get 21 sleds. sleds. Unless somebody is slower, in which yeah. case they will get bumped. But if they are the Lantern Rouge, then we will have both sleds in. Wow. Drama. We already got and drama. Again, no, and again, and again, a hundredth, you know, duck your head in the finish corner. That's why Anne does it. And that may have kept her in the race. But Lubov Czernik not having a great season. 
Boy, look on the wrong side of the straightaway. She's coming left. You could see the, the pressure. And then she has to steer. Look at the runners. The back end of the sled looks pretty smooth there. Yeah. Uh, last year, she finished 17th in the points. Didn't do the full World Cup season. And this year, she's not having any much more of a fun time. Wai Ming Ming of China is next up, our 18th starter. Eight previous World Cups, none of them here. But last week was her best ever World Cup result in Altenburg. So clearly not afraid of the Saxon track. Wang Jia Jia behind her, seventh World Cup for her. She started back in 2018-19, their first season. She's a 23-year-old young and she's a sprinter. Let's see what these two can do. Well, that result last week must really have given her a huge boost in confidence. She and Ying Ching were in opposite positions in the first heat. Ying was ahead and then slipped back, and Wai Ming Ming picked off a couple more to finish in eighth place. tap there then here that's really good lines right. there not fast though martin no nope. this is the slowest sled so far she will be behind Anne van Uyenhaus and lubov chernik at the line so 18 of 18. no at the moment here she is not happy with not that. in the race no. well she won't be either See, there's quite a lot of moisture in the air, John. You can see the drops of water on the camera lenses, and that's, at the moment, not going to really hurt the track. In fact, it will just, as you know, when, when it rains on ice, everybody, you know how much more slippery things become. But she got a lot of corner zero. Well, eighth place for both Chinese sleds last week in Altenburg on a very challenging track. Today, they're scrambling to get in the field yeah. for the second run. Switzerland's Martina Fontenev is our 19th sled, and our second debutante is great woman Kim Vidmer, 26 years old, a physio student, and that's the sum total of my knowledge about her. So welcome to the World Cup, Kim. Fill in your athlete biography form, if you wouldn't mind. We'll talk a little bit more about you the next time we see you. 577 getaway. It's the worst Martina's start fifth of the World Cup here. Yeah, it's her fifth World Cup here, John. She was 18th first time out here, two tenth places, and then 14th in January. So she should and make she the field. Drive. 15th and 12th in Innsbruck, but then 21st last week in Altenburg, which should have favored her skills because she can drive. But of course, Altenburg sort of, uh, it's a real man or woman against the mountain there in that track. 17th best speed, 95. she is still the slowest sled out. So is the track really turning into a bit of a, a soft sheet of ice? Oh, oh she almost went over. That was She is hanging close. it out there. Wow. That didn't help. I don't think that's, she's not gonna make it. Well, why is, sleds. why Ming Ming will absolutely be in the race because she's got Martina Fontenay behind her. Ah. I'm sure she's very disappointed. And uh, we weren't disappointed as much as a little concerned about this line because mm. they slow it down. She's, watch that front runner is what catches her. She's on the wood. Look at this. <laughs> She's trying to steer away from the wall, but she's only on look that right that. front runner. Look That's the only contact only, with the that, ice. Mark. That's the whole, yeah. Wow. Wow. One runner on wow. the ice. Yeah. <laughs> lucky, lucky the tracks aren't a little wider, and that's why the tracks aren't a little wider. Misha McNeil, 20th starter. This is a 49th World Cup race in women's Bob. Seventh time here. Only Alana, Kaylee, and Anne Van Nuenhouse has started more World Cup races in Winterberg than Misha McNeil. That's incredible. 20th World Cup race start as well for her pregnant woman, Montel Douglas. And 
Montel and her, they might be paired up longer than anybody. You know, that these two have been together pretty consistently for the last couple of years, Mark. They have Gives indeed. Time at the start. Don't you have a stat they... for how many times brakemen and drivers have been uh, paired up? No, because sleep comes into it occasionally. Uh, she had Adele Nickel behind her, the the, uh, the Welsh shot putter, a couple of weeks ago, second race in Innsbruck. And there's also Victoria Williamson, the uh, former Team GB track cyclist who uh, is injured at the moment, who was hoping to be breaking with the team. So Misha has alternatives. 15th off the 15th best run, but slipping out now to 19th place. Is she going to be ahead of Martina Fontenev? Oh, wow, where did she find that from? Uh, my glasses are steaming good up. She was out bottom. to 17th and then back up to 15th. Yeah, good speed at the bottom. 57, 68. Well, when you have as many starts as the top people in the field, you should know how to come down the track. She does. She has issues getting the 50 meter start. Look at the nice thrust. The brakeman get in with the power step. Eh, eh, pretty good. Technique doesn't alter the direction of the sled. She just hops in here. I like the one that takes the power step with one step onto the back. Good technique with the arms by Montel. Good aerodynamic position. Seventh place here in 2016's race. The best result for Misha McNeil in Winterberg. And our final sled in this first heat. Bree Walker. Now, it's her first start of the season with brake woman Kira Radinkius. Kira was pushing for Ashley Werner for the first few races. Ashley's now in Lake Placid, enjoying the rain. 13th World Cup start for Bree. She was the silver medalist in the monobob here yesterday. She won the monobob here the week before. So she's certainly got a head around this Altenburg track. Another heptathlete. Her, her, her brakeman. Her, I think yeah. half the field's got heptathletes on the back seat of the front <laughs> seat. She's another athlete from Melbourne. A little different weather down there in Melbourne than here. Yeah. Well, Brianna is. Well, actually, not that much. It, they, they do get winter there as well in the snowy mountains. That's hence the name. Uh, Kira Rodinius, though, had never seen snow until she came bobsledding. She comes from almost literally what the Aussies would call the back of Burke, which is as far up into the desert in Western Australia as you can go, almost. Whoa! Hit there. Leaves yeah. her late on 11. Yeah. See if it gets her down here. Nicely right. done. Directed well, she'll... You know, Levitt, you know, like yesterday she's at on the, the bottom, podium. Though. Lowest on the podium. The bottom. Yeah. For Australia today. 11th. Off the ninth, they start the John. Yeah. She finished ninth place in the race last year in January here. I keep saying last year, it was last season. So she her first time starting in, in a race. In Innsbruck, oh, she's late there. She uh, did not yeah, make the cut won. 22nd and 23rd in the two events in Innsbruck. She came up here, the wacken. That's how not to do it right there. That's yeah. the worst. I hate to say it, Brianna. That's the worst line yeah. of anybody so far in the field. And, and that's why the speed went 10. away at the bottom. Yeah. That could yeah. have been a top six run she, otherwise. Her best best result she, here she is had ninth it up place. To eight. Yeah. She had it up to eighth till that point. Yeah. And she was going forward. Well, going forward definitely is a woman who knows how to win on this track. Winners in January this year, Lauren Alter and Deborah Levy are the leaders. In that race, they beat Kim Kilicki and Anne Kristen Strack. Anne Kristen is now driving. Kim Kilicki is not second, she's fifth. And in the bronze medal in January, Katy Bile and Mariama Yamanka. Well, Yamanka lies second. Katy Bile is out of the frame in 13th. It's Katie Humphreys who is third. Narrowly ahead of Christine De Bruyne and Kim Kalicki. So from those five will come our medals. Unless Alana Myers Taylor has some real afterburners to light. Further down the order, not a great day at the office for Katy Bile down in 13th. Hanging around where 10 spots lower than she was in January. 
and that's a, an indication of the season, I'm afraid. And missing the cut, Martina Fontenev. So her rookie great woman, Kim Vidma, gets one start, and then they have to pack up and they will watch the second heat from trackside. You can join John Morgan and me, Martin Haven, with the RDSF TV crew to watch all the action from Heat 2. We will be back at 10.30 local, 09.30 GMT, 04.30 Eastern. I hope to have your company then. Bye for now.